What is leukapheresis? So the first step in CAR T-cell therapy is something called leukapheresis, or apheresis for short. It's a process where we connect the patient to a machine that looks very similar to a dialysis machine. It circulates the patient's blood for several hours and collects lymphocytes, puts them in a bag so we can use them for this process of genetic modification. It's a fairly harmless procedure. A lot of patients with myeloma are familiar with a similar procedure where, that is used to collect stem cells if they're undergoing an autologous uh, stem cell transplant for their disease. Some lymphoma patients undergo a similar procedure as well. This one is in fact simpler because we're not collecting stem cells, we're just collecting healthy lymphocytes from the blood. So it does not require injections of growth factors for several days, it has minimal side effects, and it always ends in a single day, as opposed to stem cell collections that in many patients would require multiple days and multiple sessions on the apheresis machine. So the process of leukapheresis to get uh, uh, the CAR T uh, cell produced is similar to the dialysis process. Um, the patient will go to an apheresis unit, uh, sit there for a few hours, um, and then uh, harvest those, those T cells that will be sent to a lab for manufacturing. Uh, usually this process will take a few hours um, and it's variable from patient to patient. So in general, we can think about this process as a, a, a process where a patient go to an apheresis lab, usually uh, similar to the dialysis machine, hook up to that uh, for a few hours, collect those T cells and send them to a special place where they manufacture them and make them uh, ready for infusion. Harvesting the uh, the T cells that are used for CAR T uh, product um, um, manufacture is actually different than harvesting the stem cells. The reason why, because those T cells are available in the blood um, and we, we don't need to induce them and make them in a higher amount before we do it. So we usually don't use medications that we use for stem cell transplant uh, like growth factors. So the amount of uh, CAR T cells or actually the T cells that are initially uh, collected uh, is, is variable and uh, it depends on patient and also depends on the product. Many products have a thresholds that they need to reach to before they call the manufacturing as a success. Uh, this is usually comes in millions of cells and it's variable according to the product. Uh, once the company reached to this target level, they will uh, contact the physician who ordered the CAR T cells and arrange for a time that uh, those cells were shipped to the center where they will be infused. The process itself is taking time and usually it takes uh, anything between four to five weeks to produce those cells. There is concern of doing this process late in the process of myeloma treatment because patients who are exposed to different treatment options, they may have lower T cell uh, in their body. So it may be difficult for the company to produce those cells uh, in a sufficient amount. And what we are dealing with in real life is that some patients may fail to produce the target level of those CAR T cells. And at that time now, we need to apply to get a specific approval to use the lower dose of them in a specific patient. Uh, but I, I think this will be a problem because many patients may be exposed to other uh, um, you know, uh, medications before they get the CAR T product. Uh, but you know, there are ways around that and hopefully with us improving on the process we do, we will be uh, able to overcome this problem.